episode of Crazy Town Gaming, where we are the voice inside your head. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT9. I'm IT Explosive One, and we are here for another episode of uh, Doctor Did It. <laughs> That's it. The he doctor's did it. Doctor Did It. Doctor Did It. All right, Claire's being crazy as hell, as always. <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh, wait, we know we had, we had a little question over here. Anushka? Anushka? Who's Anushka? Oh, yeah, all right. Uh, let's see. Uh, do we have Anushka? No, no let's go to what yet. are we worried about, because yep. it's Anushka's cat. I'm worried cat. that David's not going to stop at cats. He's killed deer, rabbits, wild birds, and now cats. I'm worried he might add... Humans. ...little girls to his list. She's going to kill again. She's going to kill the little girl. She can't stop him. Wow. I think she is killing all of these things and putting it on David. Well, we know that she does have an ability, right? Do we oh, we have we can confirm we can't confirm, I guess. What would you say her ability was? Her, her was... ability was to bring David back from the dead as a zombie. Oh, yeah, yeah, but he's like he's like He's a caveman. Yeah, he's a caveman zombie that just goes around killing stuff and eating it, I guess. Um I don't like her. No, she she needs to be she needs to be stopped. The situation needs to be nipped in the bud before it, it escalates any further. Yeah, yeah. We we need to Let's just call the police. Can we <laughs> Yes, where's the call 911 button? Uh why can't you stop there's him? There's so many questions for her. Well, All right, we're just yeah, going to well, go down the list, man. Why can't you stop him? Yeah, let's, let's do that. I can't stop him. I can't control him in any way at all. Ever since I brought him back from the dead, he has done nothing but ignore <laughs> me. I'm starting I'm to think that. SOB? What are you starting to think? Come on. That I need to put David out of his misery. Oh, my Lord. That I need to end his suffering. That I need to kill him again. What shall I do, Doctor? Should I kill David? Mm. Oh my, he's not even, he's dead already. You already did it. Kill him again, you get, is that murder twice or double jeopardy? I, I don't know. Ha -ha. I don't know. <sighs> Bruh. What, what, do you, WWE, what do you think? WWJD, dude. I don't know what Jaya would do here. What do you think Jaya would do, mother fudger? I don't want to do all the critical thinking. She you already... guys get to sit over there and make crotch jokes all video. <laughs> I got to do all critical thinking. You think critically. I, I'll let my crotch think critically. <laughs> no, I want my crotch jokes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, I'm thinking critically over no. here. Then tell me what would Jaya say him. here. You didn't, there's no thought behind that. You just said the first thing that came to your mind. <laughs> No. That's no thought. Give me a reason. Because she already killed him once. So maybe if she kills him again, she'll realize that she murdered him and she needs to go to jail. Okay, see, I'm going to tell you why that's wrong. But I don't I don't mean to. Wow. I'm not trying to wow. demand it. Because, uh, because that makes you an accomplice to murder. Use your brain. You're, he's already so dead. if I tell you, oh, yeah, dude, just go ahead and kill that dude, Jonas. And then the <laughs> cops come to me and it's like, yeah, I just told you to kill him. <laughs> Well, right. That's what I thought originally too. But he's the cops already know she killed him. Uh, okay, so you're saying we'd be free and clear. I don't, man. Just let him run around, man. Because she's gonna end up killing the girl, and then she's gonna go to jail for double murder. Okay. What do you so? Yeah. Look. What do you, uh, no. Don't. No. Kill don't him. kill him. Don't kill him. Yes. Kill him. No, because I don't want to go to jail. <laughs> go. Don't kill him. Very well. I will do as you say. You can think with your crotch now. I suppose I can let this go on now that someone else knows about it. The responsibility of having David is too much for me on my own. We're not responsible for David, you Thank dumb you, Doctor. Bee. See, we gave her the right thing. We would. I mean, I hope so. I just don't want to be held accountable for another man dying. We already killed one Russian, yeah, the Russian let's go to a, guy. Continue on the lake house. Let's say why was there no lake house today? She was talking about David earlier. Fair enough. David hasn't been well. Otherwise, I've taken you. Shall I bring him to you next time? Yes. Thousand percent. That's what I've been wanting the entire time. A hundred thousand percent. Yes, yes. bring David. Yes, me. bring David. Next time, then. Although it will have to be just you here and late at night. 
I can't have anyone else see him. Oh, that's not no no dog. No. Wait, you're not nah. bringing him here a minute. But no, Jai is gonna be here. Nah, I'm not need no. I need an armed guard. Yeah. <laughs> Meeting you alone with David. This is this seems like I'm just gonna get killed. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna die next uh, next yeah. episode. I don't know what the photo is, so I guess let's ask her about the photo. Oh sure. Oh yes, here. Evidence added. <sighs> From a few weeks ago, as you can see, Doctor, he looks perfectly normal. It's a picture of our of David. It is. Oh. Uh, So now we know what he looks like when he shows up next week. Dude, I you know, I love how the picture's like blurred in the background, kind of gives it like that creepy appeal. But is that what he looks like? Oh yeah, I could beat that dude up in a fight. <laughs> yeah, bring him alone at night. We I'm know, good. Yeah, it looks like a man whose wife would beat him up, mm -hmm. murder him. Yeah, I could I could take David. All Never right. mind, I take it back. I'm not scared of David anymore. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, have you taken Tanazapam? Have you talked to Bryce or Iris? I don't know. They were Iris was the girl who set the art museum on fire. Okay, yeah, yeah, so, yeah. so let's see if they. Yeah, let's let's go down that path. I never talked to Bryce, but I did talk to Iris. She didn't want to at first. She blames me for David's death, but as we both know, that's not a thing. <laughs> anyway, she said she was never locked up in any basement and had never heard of any Doctor Decker. So it's. As I first suspected, a lie. You didn't make all of that up, so I talked to Iris again, did you? Oh, because who said that she had her locked up in the basement? Oh, it was a uh, was it Crazy Lady, mm. Leech's Lady, who said Bryce that? is the one that saw the lady and freed her in Doctor Decker's basement. Oh yeah 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 okay that's right. He did it with his extra hour. All right, so we got more questions here. I should tell Bryce. Iris and I's being locked in. Yeah, we should tell Bryce that next time. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, uh, no, I didn't make up a story about Iris. Then Mr. Bryce seems to have a few more issues than me. Of course. Perhaps you should ask him about that. Thanks for telling me how to do my job, Claire. <laughs> Sure. Right. See, that wasn't a cross joke. <laughs> it wasn't. That was good. I like that. All right. <laughs> have, you, have you ever taken tenazepam, lady? Just tell me your medical history. I've never used sleeping pills. I'm too afraid of what would happen to me in my sleep. Mm -mm. She knows immediately what they are, though. I didn't know that was a sleeping pill. Yeah, it is. Um, And I, I swear to God, I remember her. It may have been. I'm pretty sure it was her that asked me for him before. Was it the, the skull and crossbones pill? He just wanted me to take No, no, not that one. Take this little pill with a skull and crossbones. <laughs> Yo, on it's it. crazy how early in the game we probably could have just killed Nathan. Yeah, probably. That was early. That like, was like yeah, take one. it. Yeah. All right. Was Dr. Decker an alcoholic? If Dr. Decker was an alcoholic, he hid it well. I never saw him drink. He certainly never offered me a drink. Why would he be drinking during your appointment? God knows I could have used one. <laughs> I know, like what a, what a consummate professional. He just pulls out some bourbon, like it's nineteen forty-two. I can stop you from reanimating people. Why is that a thing? And tell me about your referral. Uh, I don't know. What, oh, the referral letter that yeah. we got. Okay. Um, let's go with the referral. My solicitors did refer me, but I ended up going privately as it was cheaper. I'm paying them enough already without them getting a percentage of my therapy bill. That doesn't have anything to do with anything. Okay. Okay, sure. All right. Uh, do you want us? To, should we go down the week and stop you? What? what let's let's ask her what what D Dr. Decker thought about David. Okay. okay, I'm fine with that. Dr. Decker was very quiet in our sessions after seeing David. After a while, he started talking about David like he was a pet, asking me what I fed him, what he'd do in certain conditions. <laughs> what would he do if the sun was in his eyes? <laughs> I was Dr. Decker talking about David as though we were a pet. What certain yeah, conditions what Dr. Decker was interested in? Which one? The first one? Certain second? conditions. Okay. Implications. Dr. Decker asked me if I'd ever accidentally locked David in, which I hadn't. But curiosity got the better of me, so I locked him in the lake house. He couldn't get out. He didn't have the wherewithal to operate the lock. 
Oh, I mean, look. Then why don't you just do that? Yeah, right. It doesn't sound like he's violent, honestly, and that's kind of what I was interested in. It's yeah. like if he would like freak out and get like you know, Neanderthal strength. <laughs> I know what you were gonna say, but it can't. <laughs> Get out of my head. You're not in there. <laughs> You're going to say zombie strength. Yeah. That's what it is. <laughs> All right. Why was Dr. Decker talking about David as though he was a pet? I think he was fascinated with it all. And David and I had become new test subjects for him. What? When I said David never listens to me, he urged me to start giving David treats for pleasing me. Give David not treats in that for way, pleasing him. but oh, not in that showing way. him how to close a door, for example. If he did it, give him a treat. It did actually work, but I had to stop myself. I felt like I was training a monkey. It just I mean, wasn't well, you right. got to show him how to be a real man again. Wow, that's crazy. I mean, but he can learn, so there's there's something behind that. I yeah, guess. I guess so. Yeah. Well, I guess we can just go with this. All right, let's roll. Let's do it. Let's see what she says. That's an interesting idea, Doctor. It's not really something that needs to be done, though. I have no intention of reanimating anybody anymore. It hasn't gone very well in the past. Wait a second. hey -o. A Very sensible uh, response, but I'm feeling like she's insinuating that she's done it before. Okay. M multiple right. times, Well, maybe. we'll uh, we'll get into uh, the next person on the next episode. Right. Wrap up the week. That's all the time we have for this episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. If you already did that, hit that notification bell. It's Jonas. TNT. Uh, we are out.